Well, the relationship between food prices and food security in general uh, has changed over time. Uh, the concern for a long period of time from the 1960s until about the middle of the 2000s was prices are too low, there aren't incentives for farmers to produce, and so therefore uh, there could be even more abundant supplies that would benefit consumers, but the prices are low and the farmers don't have an incentive. Now, that era is over. Uh, we not only had an escalation of food prices uh, starting in 2007, but really since then we've had much more volatile food prices. So uh, prices are going up and down. Uh, this, uh, the, the higher prices is very negative for people in cities, particularly low income people, because people in cities uh, rely primarily on purchases to acquire their food. So if prices go up, that has a huge impact. It means the share of their household budget that they're devoting to food goes up. It's already high and now they also have to face such things as cutting out health care or education, withdrawing their kids from school and sending them to work. So it's a very serious problem in urban areas and there's a lot of factors behind the increased volatility but I would say one of the key factors is the huge share of the U.S. corn crop that is going to produce ethanol, about 40 percent, and the U.S. is the largest exporter of corn, so the world price of corn is basically the Chicago Board of Trade price, and so U.S. public policies with uh, mandates for blending ethanol into gasoline have disrupted food security in cities in the developing world.